up everybody and welcome to your next uh, C++ SML 2.0 tutorial and uh, I think this is gonna be my 500 tutorial so that's that's pretty cool uh, but yeah uh, in this tutorial we're gonna be learning about uh, loading in fonts and, and writing text to the screen uh, uh, for right now how we have set enabled key repeat uh, to false we can just disable that comment that I'm, that out right there uh, so when we're working with uh, text there's two things that we have to focus on or actually three things so first of all we have to load in the font so just like uh, when we load in textures we can say if not font dot load from file I mean select a font file now this won't actually look in your font folder you're actually gonna have to go and get a font from your initial font folder in Windows you'd go to control panel and then you go to fonts I'm not sure how you do it in Linux or how you would do it in uh, how you would do it in on a Mac system or something else but basically you want to get the font that you want uh, you want to copy it and paste it into the project folder the same folder that you paste in your images into uh, so I have mine right here okay and the different file formats that it accepts is on the on the SML 2.0 documentation you can take true type fonts open true type fonts a, a bunch of different um, font file types uh, so what I'm gonna load in is uh, just Orbitron black dot OTF so that's the open type font and I'm gonna say that if it's not loaded then it's, it says can't find the font file or whatever okay so once that's done so if we actually uh, create a, a font then we have a then we create something called text now it takes in in our constructor we can take in a string a font and the character size but for this tutorial we're not going to do that so we're going to say text uh, or actually what we will do is we'll make an SF string and this will be our our our, our sentence or whatever and when we create our SF text uh, there's nothing in our sentence right now uh, but we will we will say we'll put our sentence in there we'll have our font in there and the default character size, uh, let's just set it to 40 or whatever. Okay, so now our text is set. Uh, so we can do a bunch of stuff with the text. We can set the color. Uh, so I like uh, this color right here. So I'm just going to do this color. It's like an electric blue type of color. And and yeah, so, so we got we got everything set you can see the different set functions you can set a position rotation uh, uh, set the style so if we want to set it to if we do SF uh, is it style no that isn't it is SF uh, text yeah so if we do SF text we can see the different styles we have so we can do like bold italics and underlined so if we want to do a bold and we want to do like uh, underline uh, we can do it like that so we use a bitwise operator bitwise or operator to actually tell us uh, the different styles that we actually want to combine so now that we got that set what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, text entered event that we learned about uh, earlier on in this series so we're gonna say if text entered then we're gonna say if events dot text dot unicode is greater than or equal to thirty three I believe or is it thirty two I'm not sure and I'll say and uh, events dot text dot unicode is less than or equal to one twenty six which means it's like a, a valid character uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sentence and we're gonna say plus equals uh, char event dot text dot unicode and what we're gonna do we're gonna say else if our event dot text dot unicode is equal to eight so if it's equal to backspace then we're gonna say uh, so if it's equal to backspace and uh, 
uh, let's see sentence dot get size is greater than zero right then what we want to do is call sentence dot erase and we're gonna erase from the uh, sentence get size minus one to sentence dot get size so what that's gonna do is it's gonna delete the last character okay and last but not least we're gonna say text dot set string and we're gonna put our sentence in there okay and we're gonna add a break at the bottom and right down here before the display we're gonna say window dot draw text so if we run this program So we see we have nothing, we got no errors, that means our, our font was loaded correctly, and we see nothing. Then when I start typing, you can see exactly uh, what I've typed, and when I press backspace, you can delete it. So, hello, my name is coding made easy. But notice that it still goes off the screen, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, so that is up to you guys what I'm gonna give you I'm gonna end the tutorial there because it's pretty simple but what I'm going to give you guys for kind of like an assignment to work on is that you should make a, a vector of, of different texts and once the width of the the our sentence reaches uh, the width of the screen then you start writing text on a new line which will add to the vector now to find the length of the text you can say text.get rect or is that it text.get uh what is it again uh give me a second sorry so in order to get the width of it we're gonna have to say make a call to either text.get local bounds or get global bounds now we talked about local and global within uh when we were talking about the mouse when we're talking about like uh, text and other things, this is referring to something different. So if you hover over get global bounds, we see it says that it gets a global bounding rectangle and it, uh, it takes into the account the transformations, translations, and so on and so forth, right? So if you put a rotation or anything on it, so on and so forth, it will take that into account. If we do local bounds, then it won't take any of the transformable things into account, so just translation, rotation, and so on and so forth. So uh, you would say like get uh, global bounds and get the width, and uh, that will tell you how wide it is. So you can find out to see if it reaches the end of the screen, and if it does, then you add it, add a new uh add some add to to the vector sorry so you add a new instance or whatever to the vector and then you start writing on a brand new line so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe uh that's it for this video and bye